we saw Flame and Hot, the Eva Longoria directed corporate biographical dramedy that is streaming on Disney Plus and Hulu. And we're going to discuss that movie and also explore the question of are there now too many corporate biographical dramedies? Because even in the last few months, we've had Air, we've had Blackberry, mm-hmm. we've had Flame and Hot. We, uh, when we think of the classic film genre mm-hmm. of corporate biographical dramedy, you got the social network. Yeah, of That's course. like the great... Are there too many, or are we running into the ground the, how did this thing come along and get made? The founder I'll also throw in there, and there's an upcoming Madden one. Um, I don't think I don't think the, the genre is ever going to die, because I think business stories are some of the most interesting stories to be told, because they, they always involve egos, they always involve, like, money, they always involve, like, shady shit. And so that's always going to exist, because it's always, it's it's very frequently a compelling story. But I think there is um, – we are approaching maybe like a short-term saturation point. And <laughs> there is – there has been a lot of uh, – a lot of like – I don't want to say like goofy, but um, – you know, like zany. Yeah, yeah, so they're, yeah, they're always quirky. And yeah, right. In their own ways. I mean, the social network is pound for pound a fucking incredible movie. That movie is, and I don't is think almost that, perfect. And I, I love Blackberry so much. I finally fucking remembered, by the way. Remember when I said Blackberry was the social network meets mm-hmm. air with one other thing and I couldn't think of what it was? The founder was the other okay, thing. Yeah, yep. Because there is some... Uh, there's some Ray Kroc to uh, Jim's character. Yeah, there's there's some like I know what I'm doing. You fucking idiots don't. You Get have out the of my you way. have the passion. I am the businessman. We need each other. Yeah. Uh, so, but you are right that all these have a little like wink and a nod sort of thing. And I liked Flame and Hot uh, a lot. I liked I, it way more than I thought I would. Yeah. So it it is a 68 on Rotten Tomatoes with an 88 audience score. That sounds. About I right. think that is pretty accurate yeah i mean like i wouldn't i wouldn't say it's that not an 88 I, out of 100 but it's like right well 88 percent of people should like it correct yeah and, and like it's it's inoffensive it is uh you know it, it's a little corny and it's like a little cheesy and over the top dramatic at, at some point and like you're not gonna it's probably exactly what you think it is. Yeah. When you watch the trailer or if like somebody gives you a, an elevator pitch, you can probably envision, envision exactly what it is and what it's going to be. But like it's still an enjoyable watch and it's one of those it's one of those movies that definitely benefits from being on streaming where you where like the the it's kind of like an airplane experience where your expectations are lowered a little bit in terms of like the bar for enjoyment. Uh you know, it, it's definitely not in the BlackBerry realm where like BlackBerry is an awesome movie with awesome performances. And I will recommend that to everybody that everybody. I come across. Um, this it's one the tears for fears of movies. This one's more just like, hey, that's nice. And I'm glad that I watched and learned about this story. This is closer to air. And I think that air is excellent. I, I think that air is like the best ice cream in that it's not. Ice cream isn't the best food, but it's sugary and it's it's not packed. Although ice cream famously does have protein, so maybe bad example. But like air is like a great dessert where blackberry and the social network are like actual real ass meals. This is closer to air than it is to blackberry or the social network because, and this was an issue you had with air, with these corporate biographical dramedies. I do need there to be a rise and a fall or some stakes. And he's, yeah, just stakes. And obviously, in the case of Richard Montanez, if you've listened, if you've know that story at all, which uh, my favorite internet radio show, Time Crisis, discusses that story. I didn't, I didn't know it. What, I didn't yeah. until I listened to Time Crisis. That's like a very popular topic on that show for some reason okay well i mean you, you, that's a very random show so that sounds about right uh, they do a lot of like corporate food talk i didn't find out about the, that's a really interesting subject i would listen to a fucking whole podcast dude about you corporate food. listen to time crisis they like 
Oreos, fuck, fucking like Reese's, they do all this deep dives. Yeah. Um, I only found out about this story when it was announced that Eva Longoria was doing a story about the janitor that invented Flaming Hot Cheetos. So like that, uh, that was interesting and I wanted to see how it happened. But like, obviously the stakes aren't very high because you could be sitting on your couch eating Flaming Hot Cheetos watching this movie. They exist. <laughs> right. <laughs> they happen. You know it worked out. <laughs> you heard of them. So uh, like... Yeah, I was actually pissed that I didn't have Flaming Hot Chinos in my house while watching this movie. Mm -hmm. It is, it does have the founder effect where you're watching this movie and you're like, Get damn, me McDonald's. I could really go for this. Although with the founder, you feel a little bit more guilty because it's like the, the the morals of oh. where's this money going? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, th what movies would you want from corporate biographical dramedies? Because I think at some point there's going to be a Netflix one, even though I don't know what the story is there or really care about it. I will do. Uh, I'll, I'll absolutely take. I know you said they're do, they're doing a Madden one, but yeah. I, I would do like a EA Sports in general, just because EA Sports was at such a fucking height of its powers in the like mid aughts, and it has a rise a uh, rise and a fall. Correct, and like now we're in the fall. Like it sucks. EA Sports sucks ass. We've been in the fall. Bro. We've been in the fall. Um, so. Like I'm, I'm interested to see the Madden one. I feel like it's going to be about just like I would imagine it's just like about the height of Madden. I want to see the rise and fall of EA Sports. That is a and, very good one. And like working all the bands. Yes, yeah, good Charlotte. Some has of those to be involved. good Charlotte. Uh, Bubba Sparks. Uh, who sang "Oh, Ellen, What Can I Do"? You remember that song? No. I think it was in an NHL game. I said that to you like you wouldn't have played an NHL game. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. But also hot, like, hot heat. Oh, hot, hot heat. Yes, with MVP baseball. Yeah. Uh, but there is a a recent like wrinkle that would make that an even more interesting story too. With the uh, with the name and likeness, name and likeness, nil deals. Wow, I love this. EA Sports is a good one. You know, what would be a great one. What? Krispy Kreme. Why? Because that was like a cool thing. Got huge. Blew up. Went public, couldn't hack it. Really? Okay. You don't know that? Like Krispy Kreme, it still exists. But yeah, like only in gas stations. But it's like gas station ass. Yeah. Donut I, do, now. I do remember when they opened up Krispy, Krispy like Kreme around, around here? here. People went fucking bonkers. Right, because there was all this buzz about yeah. like, yo, they were the like in and out of donuts. You know, no, you know what they were? Thing. You know what they were? What? Fucking uh, Yingling. Remember when we got Yingling here and everybody was like, yo, we fucking got Yingling. Let's go. And then people drank Yingling and they were like, what the fuck? Yingling sucks. It's not good. I used to be on a... Krispy Kreme is better than Yingling. Definitely. I used to be on a radio station uh, that... I, I won't name it. You won't be able to guess what it is. Uh, <laughs> and I was talking one show about how like Yingling sucks yeah it's the it's worst not good. it's not the worst but it's not good and then it's one of my coworkers bad beer texted me and was like lol just a heads up like yingling is a sponsor oh, no. so <laughs> make sure and i was like what's done is done <laughs> <laughs> like it's uh, like am i supposed to start lying now <laughs> like just kidding love it it's i don't like no yingling. it's no i've i haven't had a yingling i believe since like the first year that I tried it. Another one that I think that I'd like to see is, uh, I don't know if this has been made. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Napster. Ah, uh, good one. You know that I did my National History Day thing on Napster yeah, versus Metallica. Me whatsoever. I did it. Na there, it was a three poster board thing. Left was Metallica. Right was Napster. Middle was Napster versus Metallica. Mm -hmm. And man, I think they gave... It was like the best one that anybody did, but I think they still gave me like a B because they were like, you just fucking chose a thing that you already knew yeah. about and you didn't do any research and there's no bibliography or anything. You just fucking know about all that shit and you did it. And I was like, mm, prove it. This is a recent one, but what about Quibi? Quibi would be cool. But I just don't know if that like there's enough there. I like... It would all. It would just be all about, about all about like how they raised their money and then just didn't fucking do anything with it. I was thinking this is uh, in in the same like. Oh no, uh, Papa John's. No, oh, because Papa John's is the one that I was. Movie thinking. Pass. Movie Pass would be movie a great pass movie. Would be incredible. Yo, we should make a movie about we Movie should. Pass and just like play the guys and it, like <laughs> we should do a fictional account. No, what we should do is we should play pass. us doing the podcast about Movie Pass and just be like. 
we should be narrating. This is what narrates it. The yes, podcast narrates yes. it. We yes. tell the story of Movie Pass through the podcast, and we narrate. Can we also play the guys? The that, movie. That if would, I were to I guess, that'd be confusing. If I were to guess, Movie Pass was made by two guys, <laughs> probably, and they were both. Neither one idiots. had the heart to tell the other <laughs> one. Ugh, bad idea. I think it would be confusing if we played uh, if we played the pa- played those guys. But I think this is something that we can bring Ben and Matt, and they can play the two guys. And this is how we become friends, and we narrate it. Well, famously in 80 for Brady, the mm-hmm, game mm-hmm. is essentially narrated by the by two podcasters, yeah. played by huge, Alex Moffat. Huge get for them that they and get Rob to, Corddry. <laughs> huge get that they get the podcasters get to call the Super Bowl. That was my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> and uh, who is oh Austin Hooper scored touchdown? They're like Hoop. Who is this? Who even is this guy? Like you're calling you're the calling Super, the Super Bowl. Bowl. You don't know who Austin Hooper is, my guy. Damn, <laughs> that's incredible. But by, by the way, massive stray caught by I Austin know. Hooper. It's like I'm an NFL, not a player. nobody. Like good <laughs> yeah. NFL tight end. There's like six good tight ends, and he's one of them. Boy, oh boy. So you you saw Eddie Brady? No. Yeah, oh, I just, I just I told you about it. You. Yeah, dude, it's it's a pretty good movie. 